Quiet on the set. Okay, everybody, quiet on the set. Scene one, take ten, Marker. Joel Levison's office? No, I'm sorry, he's not in yet. May I take a message? Yes, Mr. Levy, I'll just send a call. I never say that. He's either in conference, in a meeting. He's always in. Now, who is that? A Larry Levy? I hope there was nothing in the trains this morning, was there? Well, I don't know. The mail's late. Well, go get him. Now! I want him back here before he arrives. Griffin, hi. Griffin, hi. A a Adam Simon. I, I know we're not supposed to meet till next week, but a lot of heat coming out of this one. We were meeting next well, week. yeah, I just wanted to plant the seed in your head just now, just so that, you know, it could so I'm booked up. I okay, can't well, hear just a pitch picture right this. Now. Picture this, okay? It's a planet in the far, far future. It's a planet with two suns. Who plays the sun? No, 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 suns. Large solar discs. Listen, you gotta run this idea by Bonnie Sherman. Pictures they make these days are all MTV. Cut, 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 cut. The opening shot of uh, Wells' Touch of Evil was six and a half minutes long. Six and a half minutes long? Well, three or four, anyway. He set up the whole picture with that one tracking shot. My father was uh, key grip on that shoe. Hey, what about absolute beginners, man? That was an extraordinary shot. What the hell was that? Never heard of it. It's Julian Temple. Ooh. It's an English film. We're in English. We're talking about American Hi. movies. Orson Welles is a master. Can I have a Camino, please? I've got Calisto. Hi, Buck. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. What do you got for me? OK, here it is. The Graduate, part two. Oh, good. good. Now, good. listen. The three principals are still with us. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, Anne Bancroft, Catherine Ross. Mm -hmm. 25 years later, and so are the characters, Ben, Elaine, and Mrs. Robinson. Ben and Elaine are married, still. They live in a big old spooky house up in Northern California somewhere. And Mrs. Robinson lives with them. Mm. Her aging mother, who's had a stroke, and Mrs. Robinson lives, had Mrs. a stroke. Robinson has a stroke, so she can't talk. It's gonna be funny. Yeah, it'll be funny. With Dark a stroke and weird and funny and with a stroke. Okay. Maybe it's not a stroke. Maybe it's I don't know what. Anyway, it go is. on. It's a malady of some sort. Okay. She's up there in the bedroom upstairs, listening to everything that happens. They've got a daughter who's just graduated That's from good. college. That's good. Young blood. Twenty-two, twenty-three-year-old, like a Julia Roberts. Excuse me. Yes. What did you let me do with these scripts? Uh, that goes to Bonnie Chiro. Okay. And uh, find out from Studio Security how Adam Simon got on the lot. I want to okay. know. Adam Simon? Okay. Okay? Yes, go ahead. Julia Roberts yes, comes Julia home. Roberts their comes daughter, home. the graduate. Yes, and she's the, new graduate. The, the new graduate. The new okay, graduate. Griffin loved it. He, he just wanted me to run it, run it by you. It's a hardy band of human survivors. Listen, Generations removed from the mothership. They have no okay? history, only mythology. They've lost all their technological knowledge. They have only rudimentary mathematical skills. It's not about words. It's about pictures. You've got to visualize. Jimmy, are you okay? What happened? Yeah, kid, 25 hey, kid. or less. Are you all right? I nice say, my name is Jimmy Chase. In fact, this is the area right here, but when you make a lot of decisions to give a green light to a picture like that, right here. We're going to go about 17 stories high if we can. We're going to continue using all the Sony products. Domo arigato to, to the Sony products, really. In fact, if you need someone to eat some sashimi with you, you can give me a ring because here, right here, I know that you're just seeing it. Traffic to Malibu is impossible. Morning, nice Joe. Sandy, park the car, please. Morning, Marty. Annie. Hi. Hi. So, uh, what's all here? this talk going around here about uh, heads will roll? The bank's putting screws to us. Herbert Goldman's son's coming out from Boston. I don't like it. Reggie Goldman's a pipsqueak. Can't be serious. You know, some changes are going on around here. It's always the way. It happened at Paramount. Three years ago, Columbia's going through it now. I hear we're looking to replace Griffin. Griffin? Mm -hmm. 
I don't believe it was who. Burke or Patrick, maybe Larry Levy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I want to know why the security's so lax, that's why. Well, I'll talk to you about it later. I'm in the middle of the pitch. Okay. Listen. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Okay. okay. It's a TV star, and she goes on like safari a in Africa. You're talking about a TV star and a motion one, picture? No, 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 not a real picture. TV star. It would be played a by a star. movie star. A movie star you know, playing a television Julia, star Julia, in a movie picture. Right. Dolly would be good. Dolly Parton would be good. Dolly. Dolly. You know, I, 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 yeah. I like Goldie. I like Goldie. Goldie. Okay, Goldie goes to Africa. We have a relationship, and that would be great. Goldie goes to Africa. Goldie goes to Africa. She becomes worshipped. She becomes everyone. Well, she's failed by this tribe of small people. But then she has to She's failed by this tribe, and they worship her. And oh, okay. I see. It's a kind of it's like a gods of... must be crazy, except the Coke bottle's now a television actress. Yeah, it's That's... exactly right. It's out of Africa meets Pretty Woman. Well, and she but has you know to decide what? whether you to stay with the TV do. show or save it this entire Africa. Hey, where's Griffin Mills? Though? Right here. Hey, hey, you're Martin Scorsese. Oh, but I know Harvey Keitel. I know you do. Hey, I loved Cape Fear. My old <laughs> man worked for Hitchcock. Too. Yeah. Rope. It's a masterpiece. The story wasn't any good. Shot the whole thing without cuts. I hate all this. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, yeah, well, what about uh, Bertolucci, that great track he shot with Winger in Sheltering Sky? I didn't see it. Touch of evil. That was. Well, Where's it's 8 o'clock? Oh, Honest, I have. Commissary. Whitney, I stuck my neck out for you to get this job. I, Who are you with? I, I, I was there with um, Al Alan Rudolph. <laughs> what were you doing with <laughs> Alan Rudolph? Well, no, he asked me. He asked me to have coffee, and he was telling me this idea he had. So what Whitney, am I going to say? Whitney, you're my assistant. You don't get involved with writers. But I wasn't getting involved. I was just listening to this amazing idea he had. You, well, I told you, you well, given it to you. What's your pitch? This is the best. Well, yeah. is political scary? Political doesn't scare me. Radical political scares me. This political political scares politely me. Politely politically radical, but is it it's funny. It's funny. It's, it's funny. a funny political it's, thing. It's a funny. It's a thriller too. It's that's, a thriller. And it's all at once. So uh, what's the story? Well, I want Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. I think I can talk to him. Um, it's a story about a senator, a bad guy senator at first. Uh, and he's traveling around the country on the country's dime, you know, uh, like that Sununu guy used to. I see. So sort of a cynical political thriller comedy. Yeah, but it's got a heart uh, in the right spot. Uh -huh. And anyway, he has an accident. An and accident? Yeah, and he becomes clairvoyant, like a oh, psychic. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so it's kind of a psychic political thriller comedy with a heart. With a heart. And uh, not unlike Ghost meets Manchurian Candidate. Go on, go on. I'm listening. Anyway, he can start to read people's minds. And when he gets to the president's mind, it's completely blank. Completely blank. I can do anything. I'd like a beer, please. We don't have beer. Oh, OK. Wine. Red wine, please. Of course, if someone gets killed at the end, they always do in political thrillers. Griffin Mills office. Yeah.